Meanwhile, TPD says officers are tracking a growing number of street races. We've been following this now for weeks and we're going to show you some of those more recent reports. That includes what department leaders say was officers recently arresting and citing over 100 people at a large street race. In that instance, hundreds of people had gathered to watch it play out. TPD says it's partnering with other local law enforcement agencies to crack down with a focus on illegal racing. They say alone the department does not have the staffing to tackle the problem without going into detail. They say they're using different strategies to find those responsible. We hope that it will quell it, that people realize and recognize that, hey, I got a nice car here. I don't want to lose it. Hey, I don't want to pay a, a $500 fine. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to stay in it. So we're going to make it tough. We're not going to tolerate it. TPD says this is a nationwide issue, but now also happening more often on Tucson streets. Now, non-sanctioned street or drag races are illegal in Arizona. Relevant rules also ban unnecessarily loud engines and even driving that would leave skid marks on the road. Some attorneys websites go further into detail, saying how it's against the law to aggressively speed up to pass another car. A police officer could pull a driver over if they speed off from a red light, make their tires squeal while there's another car next to them. If a person is convicted of street racing, that would leave a misdemeanor charge and fines in the first offense and then a potential felony charge for a second offense.